guys in this video I will tell you how you can enable two step verification for your account uh, which is extremely important for like if your account is hacked for XCAD extension um, like for example if you give your password to someone else and it got hacked by mistake only or the front scam you or whatever it is a like two step verification which requires a second OTP uh, one time password to log in your account uh, this doesn't require any phone number or any kind of gmail it's completely in extension so let's start the video first of all you need to go to chrome and type for uh, google authenticator for pc the first link i will also give this in the comment section so you just need to click on the add chrome and click on add extension uh, this is for pc users uh, if you are android user then you can simply uh, type uh, google authenticator on google, uh, play store then it will display the app and you can download it easily now you need to click on buzzer button and pin the authenticator extension now go to your xcad app click on the three lines and click on settings i have created a new account just to show this to you guys now you need now you can see a multi-factor authentication multi-factor is currently off if you want to turn it on you need to click on on now this is the QR code you can scan it in your app if you have a mobile or you can simply click on copy if you want to set it in your pc for now i am uh, guiding you on pc so let's just copy the uh, and click on next now it will ask you for code uh, now you have to open your xcad uh, authentication app and click on this pencil button Oh, plus button uh, and click on manual entry click uh, uh, initial you can just type xcad or your xcad email and type here the uh, please sure to remove the this s remove all this and remove the is equal to before this only we need the capital letters this one and click on ok the one time password will display which is 922196 uh, we simply enter it here 922196 now you just have to click on verify code now this is saying invalid code why because i have you need to enter the code before the new code appears and the timeline is about one minute like you have uh, the code resets every one minute so you have to type it before the code expire so like the uh, let's uh, i will enter the next code let it be just expire for now uh, the new code is 206383 Zero six eight two three I forgot what was that. Let me check again three eight three. Yeah, oh yeah. Mm. Uh, let's come wait for a second. I forgot the letters. Uh, let's type this one. Uh, it's like copy what is not working 874961 let me enter it manually now we have to click on verify code and uh, our and now you can see that our two step verification is on you can see here Please note that you can't disable this. Once you have enabled this, you can't disable the multi-factor authentication. So, and also one more security tip: you should not delete your this this extension from your app, and you should also save the key, the the key you got from that place. Uh, the key, like for example, it was this 
this you have to save it in very like you save it digitally if like for example if you lost your extension you can recover it by using the key so it's very important to save this otherwise you will completely lose your fund in your account uh, multi factor authentication card for withdrawal also so that's all for today um i will more will guide you more in the next video goodbye oh sorry bye